Uh, good morning, it's Anne van Rensburg and uh, today I'm going to show you a mixed media uh, painting that I'm going to do. I'm working in my, my book that I've primed with gesso. Um, I'm going to use a serviette for the pot and I'm going to paint the flowers in acrylics or oils maybe. I will see as I get there. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to layer my, um, take off all these layers of my serviette. Just make sure you leave the, um, you take off all of them. You only need the bottom part. You can just check if it's two layer or a two ply or whatever. So I'm going to much potch that there and I'm going to paint my pot maybe blue that it can um, maybe look like a delft pot and uh, then we'll see as we go along. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my much potch and I'm just going to paint where the pot, the pot is. Then I'm going to put my serviette on top. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to um, tear it off or take it off where it is um, it's not uh, glued to. So I'm just going to put a, make sure I put a nice amount of the Mod Podge down. So I'm just going to put my serviette down like that. I'm just going to flatten it out with my brush. Just want to see up to where it's... I don't want to go over my sides if it's not necessary. Got a little bit of um, crinkles there, but it's 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 not going to upset me. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my brush and just flatten it out nicely. You can take a heat gun if you prefer and heat it with a heat gun or you can um, or a hair dryer or whatever you've got to speed up the process and um, as soon as it's dried I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just want to make sure it's everywhere. I don't mind if there's a little piece sticking over. I will just uh, paint over that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to dry it, and as soon as it's dried, I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, it's dry now, so I'm just going to take a brush with water, and I'm going to go um, around with the pot. Parties, um, so that I can easily take it off. Otherwise, you can just tear it along the edge where it's um, glued down. Also works. You can see it comes off very easily. I'm 
I'm just going to take it off and then I'll go back and I will tidy it up. As I said, you can also, um, if there's a little piece of sticking over here and there, you can just uh, take your paint and go over that and just take it away. It doesn't even, you won't even see it. So I'm not going to worry too much. Just make sure you go up to where it's um, it's glued, otherwise you're going to have a little pieces that's sticking up there. That can be maybe a problem later. You can see on this side a little bit of the glue came to that side, so that's why it's stuck there, but I'll just paint over that. There you go. Just remember everything that's at the back will come to the front because the white tends to um, blend into the background. So you can even put paint this black, uh, 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 um, blue from the start and then put uh, your serviette on top of it. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to do it the other way around. I'm just planning a little bit where all my flowers are going to come. so. Um, Just make sure you've got a lot of stems here at the back to, to um, show that you've got a lot of flowers there on top. Um, I will actually paint this uh, turquoise. I could have painted the turquoise first I and then put my flowers on top. Um, it's up to you what you want to do there. Uh, I think I'm going to um, maybe paint just paint around my flowers. I'll put in the stems and the leaves later on. So for now I'm just gonna tuck out my turquoise paint and do the background. I'm just gonna quickly block in my um, my flowers.
taking out my winter blue now. I'm going to thin it down with water because I want it to be transparent. And I'm just going to paint it over the spot. Just a thin layer of my winter, winter blue. Remember it must be transparent, otherwise the black is not going to show through. I'm just going to put a second layer of this blue where I want it to be darker on this side. My light is from, coming from the right hand side. So I just want to make it a little bit darker to my shadowy side. I'm going to put a little bit here as well. You can even take some of it off if you don't want it there. Now I'm just going to let it dry quickly. Okay, I'm going to start with the flowers now. I'm, I've uh, got a little bit of magenta, cadmium reed. I've got my Naples yellow, a little bit of white, and cat orange, and cat red. Yeah, I said cat red. So I'm going to start now. There's a little bit of green and uh, titanium buff that is uh, left from the previous uh, painting. Uh, maybe it's still alright, so I'm going to use that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my dogs now. I'm just going to take a little bit of my black ink with that crimson because I want it a little bit darker. And I'm just going to put in my shadowy parts first and then I'm going to start with my painting. So you can just sit back, and relax and enjoy the ride.
Okay, th I think I'm finished now, so I'm just gonna write my name and then I'm going to uh, uh, maybe go around with um, my Chinese marker here and there and then I'm finished. Just want to fix that, that came out very ugly. I've showed you in a previous video this. Um, Sharpie peel off marker. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of lines and then I'm finished. This this works in, in oil, it works in acrylic. I just want to loosen it up a little bit. I got too tight. I'm going to use a white one as well. So I'm just loosening it up a little bit so that uh, it's not so uh, I'm trying to work looser so yeah that's one of the things that I I would love to do. And it's a, I struggle a little bit with that, so yeah, that's um, it's a problem for me. So if you want to loosen up, I mean, and your painting is getting too tight, just get you one of these, or you can even use your brush, your small round brush to do this. Um, but this works this works very nice for me, so. And you can work into the wet paint as well as dry paint, it doesn't really uh, matter. If you work into the wet paint you get a nice loose, more uncontrolled feeling. There I just broke my point, so you're, I'm just going to quickly unwrap it. Or maybe I'll show you in another video how I do this, I'm not going to use the black for now. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and hit that bell. I will show you in um, future uploads if there's anything that you want me to try and show you. I will try my best to do that. Um, I will see you next time and uh, remember to like and subscribe. Hit that bell.